crying Indian. By the way, the crying Indian was actually uh, Italian. And, was he really? And that, that was a part of the campaign by the companies that produce that single-use plastic to shift the blame onto individual litterers. It seemed to have effect, a positive effect on me, though, as I was growing up, along with the give a hoot, don't pollute, along with that ecology flag I grew up under. There was quite an effort back then to say, don't, don't litter. But that's a good thing, and people should not litter. I don't think anybody's debating that. My point is simply that if we didn't have so much single-use plastic and trash, we, and also the city of Valdosta has excellent ordinances that say that owners, owners of parking lots should not let the trash get off their parking lots, and they should have uh, trash cans, so many per parking space, and it's not enforced. All right. Loud and clear. Fortunately, thanks to Assistant City Manager Richard Hardy, he promises that he's going to organize a meeting this week at which we will discuss that and also how to clean out that water goat trash trap that the city bought and put in in Sugar Creek. Thank you for City of Valdosta for buying that water goat. Water goat. Now we need a plan to clean it out. Okay, and now we need what? How many more? We need at least more, two more. Two more? At least two more for the other two obvious creeks. Two mile branch above Jerry Mill Pond and three mile branch on which you live. Yep. You, you're not throwing that stuff in there, are you? No, you know. You know I'm not. <laughs> but it magically appears in the high water fence. Yes, and it magically comes down off of North Valdosta Road to yeah. where it's coming from. Oh, it's magic. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, people, do your part. Again, we call it a team effort. Any standalone, you alone, John's organization alone, city alone, or it's going to fail. It's got to be an all-in by all of us. This is something that's very usable, marketable. This is something that before we couldn't imagine doing that. Now it is a reality. We'd love to develop it. Right, and you know, fixing a trash problem is going to cost a lot less than either of those sewer spill fixes. Agreed. So we just need to move along and do it, and i got to say the city's got to do most.